Hey, what's up everybody? Jack of Many Trades back here again with another video and today we're going to be doing a pretty exciting video. This is going to be a review of the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K. So here it is in its, this is a first party case, but it does not come with the device. So if you do wanna pick this up to protect it, definitely check the links down in the description. Everything that I show here will be there. So that way you can go ahead and find all of these things very easily. Also, if you are looking to pick any of these things up, do please use those links down below as they do help out the channel since I am an Amazon affiliate. With that being said, this is a sponsored video by Nebula and I was provided with this uh, projector so that way I can take a look at it for you guys and just give you my opinions. So taking it up out of the box here, this is what the projector looks like. As you can see, it is fairly substantial in terms of its size. It's not enormous, but it is, you know, like I said, it's fairly large. Um, it weighs about 15 pounds, but it's not really so bad, especially considering that they give you this very nice built-in handle here, very ergonomic, helps you to take it around pretty easily. This is a lifestyle projector, so Basically, you can use it wherever you want. You can use it in your bedroom, you can use it in the living room, on a professional screen, outside, on a wall, when you go camping, at your next barbecue or cookout, or if you're out on the beach, you can even use it there if you have something like one of the power banks that I'll leave linked down below that can actually power this thing because it does require a fair bit of power. Unfortunately, something like this, the OmniCharge 20 Plus does not actually have enough power output to be able to power this thing as it is over 100 watts. So that is a little bit unfortunate, but you know, like I said, it is still fairly portable. So taking a look around on the top here, we have a light up panel. This is activated by just touching it. You can change any of the basic settings here. You have your little settings cog wheel. You have the back button, directional keys, and your enter. You also have volume up and volume down. So it's all of the basic stuff. But if you do want to get a little bit more granular, you are going to need to use the included remote control which takes two AAA batteries and looks like this. So as you can see here, this is our remote control. You have a couple of buttons here. You have one for Netflix, one for YouTube, one for Disney Plus and one for Prime Video. You also have your mute button here. You have volume up and volume down rockers, channel up, channel down. You have your home button, back button. You have your TV button in case you have a live subscription. You also have your volume down, volume up, left, right, and center. You also have up here your bookmark button. You also have the Google Assistant button, the settings button. Up here is the Nebula button. So this is used for all of your functions within the Nebula uh, apps so that we can change your brightness, picture quality, picture settings, other things like that. And then of course you have a power button here. So this is the top of the line projector currently in Nebula's lineup. This is a full 4K projector capable of outputting 2200 ISO lumens or around 1800 ANSI lumens. There's another video that I will leave linked in the description that goes over in great detail a comparison of this between all of the other projectors in case you are interested. But with that being said, this is, like I said, the top of the line one and retails for about $2,000. But right now you are lucky and there is a sale going on where you can get $300 off of this. So if you are interested, definitely check that out. It's a great deal. And likewise on the other projectors that I will leave linked down in the description below, there is the Mars 2 Pro, which is Nebula by Anchor's entry level projector. That is going to be a really great option for you if you just want something to project on the walls and you don't plan on using it in a very bright environment as it does not have laser technology it's not going to be super bright but it will work pretty well in dark situations so that comes in right around 550 dollars and they're running a sale on that if you use the link down in the description there is also another sale going on on the capsule 3 laser so if you do want to pick that up that's a more affordable smaller more lightweight version of this here, it's capped out at 1080p, but it does support HDR, which is great. And it is 
extremely small, extremely portable, and it has a built-in battery, so you don't need to worry about powering it, and it has enough battery life to get through a full two-hour movie if you so choose. But with that being said, let's take a look at the capabilities of this thing. So the way that I like to mount it up is using a tripod. So any tripod will do, but I will leave the one that I'm using here linked in the description. And basically you just want to mount it up, have it balanced as much as possible because it is, like I said, fairly heavy. You wanna make sure that your tripod can actually support that kind of weight. Um, but as long as those things are checked for you, you can use it like that. Anchor also does sell their own uh, versions of tripods and other mounting type solutions. So if you do want to check those out, I will leave links in the description again. And so once you have everything installed, you just want to put it in a place that will be good for you. Make sure that it's nice, balanced and level and then plug it into power. What's nice about these projectors is that they are made to be used in a variety of circumstances that may not be ideal. So they will actually do auto keystoning for you. And so that is basically just a method of taking the picture and manipulating it in such a way that it looks perfectly rectangular on your wall in a nice big format that is supported by your wall or your projector screen. Now, sometimes the auto keystoning doesn't work perfectly, so that's where manual keystoning comes in, which can be accomplished by just pressing and holding the mute button on your remote controller that will bring you to this screen here. And then you can just adjust using your select button and then just change using the directional keys until you're happy. Press the select button again to move to the next square, continue on through, and then when you're done, just push the back button a couple of times and that will save your settings, refocus, and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna show you guys how long this takes to boot up. So you can see here, the first time that it boots up, it will take a little bit longer just because it has to warm everything up inside. By the way, this does have a built-in fan. The nice thing though about it is that the fan is pretty quiet, especially if you're talking about comparing it to the speakers that this has. This has 30 watt speakers built in and they put out a pretty impressive soundscape. They are stereo. They do support Dolby Atmos, so they are pretty incredible and they get very, very, very loud more than enough to drown out all of the fan noise. So if you were concerned about that, it's not an issue. This does have DLP uh, technology in it. So if you are sensitive to the rainbow effect as it's called, this might not be the projector for you, but for me and for most of you guys out there, I think this should be just fine. The DLP really can be only a big issue if you look left to right very, very quickly, which you're not going to be doing if you're watching a movie. And even if you're playing a game, it's not really that bad. So I definitely recommend this and I can stand behind it. And I think you'll like it too if you do choose to pick one up for yourself. But with that being said, let's just check how fast it turns on. If you have it already plugged in, it's already been warmed up and you just turn it on from standby. As you can see, it is pretty fast. Okay, so moving on here, I wanna show you guys what the speakers sound like. Feeling better. Yeah, seems like it worked. Bad news, all we've done is buy you some time. The suppressants effects will wear off all too soon. You ready to go? Don't worry about me. Ashley is the priority. In that case, we know what we have to do. Then come, Sancho Panza. Let us rescue the Princess Dulcinea. She's gonna hurt herself. Hey, that was my dance. Okay, we hurry, I get it. Why help me, though? What's in it for you? <laughs> no need to be suspicious. I said I'd help you, didn't I? Thank you. 
So you can see what the picture quality looks like. Unfortunately, this is during midday, so um, the picture will be a little bit washed out on the screen. I do apologize for that. In reality, it's really contrasty and vibrant. It is a really great viewing experience, even in pretty bright conditions like I have here. But if you are in darker conditions, like a proper light controlled environment, it will do a really great job for you. Absolutely love it. And I think you will too. It operates at 4K 60 Hertz by default, but you can of course change that in the settings if you so choose. Also, I have it on a custom picture profile right now. So that custom picture profile is basically just using uh, my sense as a person who works with color a little bit to get it exactly where I think it should be. Uh, out of the box, I think the reds are a little bit too saturated. So I brought down the saturation of those a little bit and rebalanced the green and blue to a, a level that I feel is appropriate. And with that being done, I think it looks pretty great. All right, so overall, I think that this is a pretty outstanding product. I'm not going to recommend that you buy it or not because like I said, this is a sponsored video and I don't feel right telling you guys uh, to go out and buy something if you know it is a sponsored video. But with that being said, I do think that if you would like to pick one up, you will not be disappointed with it. And especially considering that it is getting to be summer, you guys are probably gonna have some people over, barbecue parties, stuff like that. This is going to be a really great thing for you, especially with those mics, if you do choose to pick them up. I think it's a pretty nice proposition for your setup. It'll wow people, give you guys something to do while you're hanging out and eating good food. So if you guys do choose to pick one up, definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And I will see you back here later.